After four straight years of games that went down to the final play, the 2010 Valero Alamo Bowl ad campaign touted big is here. And the game between the Big 12's number one passing attack in Texas Tech and the Big 10's number one passing team in Michigan State did not disappoint. Over 64,000 fans poured into the Alamo Dome, while another 9 million watched the national ESPN broadcast of Texas Tech's hard-fought victory over Michigan State. The game delivered big plays and a big finish, and was the perfect culmination of a season's worth of events and celebration for fans to experience. The Valero Alamo Bowl partners with NCAA football to kick off our calendar with a free youth clinic. Last year, University of Texas at San Antonio head football coach Larry Coker and coaches from area San Antonio universities ran the clinic for 200 youth ages 5 to 14. Every August, the Alamo Dome hosts the original Rudy's Barbecue Pigskin Preview Luncheon. This event marks the start of another exciting college football season and features a keynote speaker from ESPN. Last year, a record crowd delighted in hearing stories from Todd Blackledge and learned his insight for the upcoming college football season. Football is, has been a part of my life forever. Uh, it's, it's a part of the fabric of who I am. Guests of the luncheon were also treated to a great meal courtesy of Rudy's Barbecue. Fans get their first taste of football in the Alamo Dome when the best high school teams in Texas match up in the Texas Football Classic to kick off the season. The weekend started with Thursday and Friday night games, followed by a Saturday triple header. The games annually feature past state champions and some of Texas's most talented high school players. The next event on the Valero Alamo Bowl calendar is also one of the most popular. Thousands of local golfers took their best swing at a 125-yard shot during the 10-day Dr. Pepper Million Dollar Shootout. Daily prizes were awarded, and the top shots each day qualified for their chance at a million-dollar grand prize. While no one won the grand prize, closest to the pin winner Chris Olivari received a vacation for two to the Caribbean. After the teams are announced, the head coaches from the participating universities fly into town to help kick off the December calendar of events by meeting with the media at the AT&T Golf Classic. Uh, right now, uh, this is our third bowl game in, in three years as a staff. Uh, we're in process of really our practice time right now is pretty much developmental. Uh, we've had Following the press conference, bowl sponsors take advantage of the San Antonio weather to hit the links for a day of fun and great prizes at the club at Santerra. From the moment the schools arrive, they are the center of attention. The teams always receive a festive welcome as they are greeted by mariachis, avid fans, and warm weather. <laughs> Bowl week kicks off with the Valero Alamo Bowl Coaches Dinner. This event was again a bowl week favorite as it's an ideal way for the traveling parties from both universities to enjoy a private evening of San Antonio hospitality. Two teams headed to SeaWorld for a day at the park, followed by the Rudy's Barbecue Team Fiesta. At the Fiesta, the players enjoyed a meal with their teammates and families as they competed in trivia and talent contests. Who gave us such liberty? Who is Who is Fritz? Yes, Fritz, big round of applause, one point.
One of the loudest and most popular events of Bowl Week is the Rudy's Barbecue Pep Rally. The head coaches, players, cheerleaders, and pep bands showed off their colors in a spirited pep rally in front of a standing room only crowd at the River Center Lagoon on the famed San Antonio River Walk. As the week progressed, the anticipation built. And the Wells Fargo kickoff luncheon was an event that captured all of the excitement and revelry of the big game. A crowd of 1,400 people were treated to insight from the head coaches and team captains, as well as pageantry from their cheerleaders and bands. The night before the game provides for an evening celebration at the Valero Alamo Bowl Bash. University officials, fans, and bowl sponsors all enjoyed an evening featuring a great dinner, casino games, and music from Audio Mouth, which filled the dance floor. The AT&T Fan Zone was the gathering place before the 2010 Valero Alamo Bowl. I'm so excited! Over 25,000 fans, alumni groups, families, and the university bands all joined together to celebrate before the big game. This fun, exciting event was free to the public and included a variety of interactive games, including the AT&T Upgrade Challenge. Every big game needs a great pregame party. And the Dr. Pepper pregame party at Sunset Station was the perfect beginning to an exciting college football showdown. Whether fans were in a private corporate hospitality room or in the pregame party, everyone was treated to good food and drink, as well as a special pregame performance by the university bands. Since its inception in 1993, the Valero Alamo Bowl has developed a well-deserved track record of exciting games and top ESPN ratings. The 2010 Valero Alamo Bowl lived up to its billing as Texas Tech and Michigan State engaged in a seesaw battle where the outcome wasn't decided until the last two minutes when a Texas Tech interception sealed the win. The final result was a 41-31 to 31 Tech victory in front of a capacity crowd of 64,757, the third sellout in the last four Valero Alamo Bowls. More impressive were the TV ratings, as 9 million viewers watched the game on ESPN, making it the number one most viewed bowl game in ESPN history. The Valero Alamo Bowl games have now produced three of the top six most viewed bowl games in ESPN history. With the game's improved selection rights from the Big 12 and Pac-10, the bowl is well positioned to continue this growing track record of exciting games, capacity crowds, and top rating. These successes are only made possible thanks to the tremendous volunteer support the Valero Alamo Bowl receives every year. The Valero Alamo Bowl could not entertain the thousands of fans, sponsors, and team members, as well as stage all the events without help from dedicated volunteers. We hope you continue to join us as we strive to make our game the best bowl trip in America. Thank you again for all your help.